Next, we're going to consider the power of attorney. A power of attorney, what is it? It's a document that gives one or more persons the power to act on your behalf, right? As your agent. Now, the power can be limited to a particular activity, um, like closing on the sale of a home, um, for example, or it can be general, um, a general power of attorney. The power may be given temporarily or permanently, um, depending on how you, how you craft it. The power can take place immediately, can take effect immediately, or upon the occurrence of a future event. Um, or upon the occurrence of your incapacity, your inability to act due to a mental or a physical uh, disability. Now, an important reason to use a power of attorney is to prepare for situations when you may not be able to act on your own behalf due to um, absence. You may not be physically present um, when uh, a transaction needs to be uh, executed um, or if you're incapacitated. Um, now that disability, that incapacity may be temporary due to um, you know, travel, an accident or an illness, or it can be permanent. But in any event, a power of attorney can be helpful in all of those, uh, in all of those scenarios. If you don't have a power of attorney and you become unable to manage your personal or business affairs, it may become necessary for the court to appoint one or more people to act on your behalf. And you may have heard the term guardians or conservators. Um, that's, that's what we're talking about. These are people that act, they're acting on your behalf, but they have been appointed by a court, uh, to do so, to manage your person, your health and welfare, as well as your property. 